Benefits of Listing Each Other's Needs Welcome everyone to another session of Walking with Randy. I've waited so late I'm going to have to walk around inside instead of walking around outside. Anyway, welcome to another session of Walking with Randy where we talk about writing, speaking, course building, marketing, and marriage. And today we're talking about marriage, we're talking about the topic of meeting each other's needs. And we're going to talk about the first of seven steps for helping uh, us to meet each other's needs. This first step is that of listing each other's needs. Now there will be some benefit to listing each other's needs. Uh, one of those benefits is that it will make your mate feel fulfilled. Your mate will feel fulfilled. Now, whenever your mate has a sad countenance, then that often brings frustration to you. Uh, and it may cause you to be embarrassed. It may cause you to have a certain amount of shame. And the shame is especially hard on husbands. To feel ashamed is hard on both husbands and wives, but uh, some researchers have said that it is especially difficult for husbands uh, to feel such a shame. So, uh, you may be embarrassed uh, whenever you do this. The other problem with doing this is that whenever your mate does not look happy, then there may be others that may step into the situation. And you may find out that not only your mate, but that may happen in your case too. Uh, so we need to be careful of that because that is a very, very dangerous situation. The second benefit is that you will feel fulfilled. The first one is that your mate will feel fulfilled because you are uh, taking steps to meet your husband's or your wife's needs. And then when they also are doing that, then it turns around with a reciprocal thing where you will feel more fulfilled. And that's a very good thing, to be very happy. Now I mentioned there about how that uh, others may creep in when either of you are not having your needs met very well. Someone may come along and say, do you want to talk about it? You need to be careful in that situation because that can be a very dangerous situation. Especially if the person who wants to show that sympathy to you, who wants to step in and maybe for, uh, meet an unfelt need, uh, that will, that's a very dangerous and vulnerable place for you to be and or for your mate to be. Now, it's one thing to talk with someone who has a similar situation as you, who would, if you were a husband, talk to another man. But even at that, you need to be careful about airing your problems with your friends and with others. Now, it may be that you really do need to talk, but you might be better served to talk with a professional counselor or a professional religious worker and for it to all be done in the proper settings. So just be careful whenever that happens because if you don't look happy or if your mate does not look happy, someone else may come along. The Bible speaks of those who creep into women's houses, and they creep into their minds and their souls. And it can happen also coming into your mind and your soul 
can be a woman can creep into the mind or soul of the man. So you need to be very careful about that being set up that way. You want to affair-proof your marriage, and you want to have a happy marriage. Another benefit of doing this is that you will know what to do. Uh, I mentioned uh, husbands not liking to feel like failures. Uh, they need to know what the steps for success are. I remember a young man who was uh, placed on a basketball team, and uh, he was very good. His major contribution was that of his speed and his quick reflexes. He was very good on defense. He could be between his opponent and the basket. Uh, if his opponent was not careful, his quick hands would uh, steal the ball. After a while, he began to anticipate uh, where they were going to throw the ball, and sometimes he could jump in and steal the ball that way. But whenever it came to offense, he felt very inadequate. Then the coach, not too long in the season, came up with a series of plays, and they started practicing these plays. So they knew where the ball would start. They knew who it would be thrown to next. They knew whenever somebody would run from one side of the court to the other, uh, whenever somebody would run to a certain position. He really appreciated those plays because then he knew what to do. Well, one of the benefits of listing each other's needs is that it will give you a step of knowing what to do uh, to be able to attempt to meet each other's needs more fully. Um, so as we think about that, we're going to come up with a pre-made list of 10 categories of needs. These are felt needs that have been identified by uh, professional counselors and by marriage researchers and by many surveys that have been conducted. So there is a list of 10 needs that we will use. Now, as you look at that list, you may say, why, there's a felt need that's not on the list. Well, then, you and your mate, you should just add that to the bottom of the pre-made list that I give you. So instead of having 10 categories of needs, you may have 11 or 12. And then later we will show you how to rank those needs. But this will encourage you to know that you are taking a step of something that you can do that will be beneficial to your marriage. Now this is for newlyweds, but these this is for those who have been married for quite a long time. Because in the process of doing this, there may be a few revelations that come about. And they may just help you to improve your marriage in a way that you did not expect. Well, I hope this has been helpful to you. I have some books on marriage at Amazon.com. Just uh, go there and search for Randy Carney or Dr. Randy Carney, and uh, you'll find a couple of books on marriage. You'll find one about how to write a book, and uh, so you might find those helpful. If you'd like more tips like these, go to randycarney.com. And then you will find a tab at the top of the page that says marriage. Go click on that and you can find the previous blog post. Well, I hope that you have a great day and I will talk to you next time for Walking with Randy.